Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we're talking about cross-multiplying. What is it and how can you do it? Cross-multiplying is basically the shortcut way of thinking of how to solve a proportion for a single variable. So let's say we have two-fifths and we want to know how to represent it as a percentage. We want to know what percentage two is out of five. In order to do that, we set it equal to x over 100. Percent means out of 100, so if we set it equal to this uh, ratio and solve for x will get the percentage that 2 is out of 5. So you could use cross multiplying for this, but first, just to show you how it works or why it works, we'll go through it the more laborious way. So what you would do to solve this is multiply both sides of the equation. First, we'll multiply them both by 5 in order to get rid of this denominator. So we'll multiply this side by 5 and we'll multiply this side by 5. This leaves us, 5's cancel out, leaves us with 2 equals 5x divided by 100. Now we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 100 in order to eliminate this denominator. So we get 100 times 2 and 5x over 100 times 100. 100's cancel out and we're left with 200 equals 5x. Then we just divide both sides by 5 and we are left with x equals 40. So we know that two is 40% of five. So you can see the shortcut way of getting to this step of 200 equals five X is to cross multiply, which is multiplying the diagonal um, of the proportion. So it's the numerator multiplied by the denominator, two times 100, which gives us our 200 set equal to this numerator times this denominator, which is 5x. Let's look at one more quick example and use cross multiplying to do it. So let's say we want to solve this equation here. We've got 3 over 4 and let's set it equal to x over 50. So using cross multiplication to solve for x, we can multiply this numerator by this denominator. That's 3 times 50 equals 150 and set this equal to this numerator times this denominator, which is 4x. Then we can divide both sides of the equation by four, which gives us x equals 37.5. So I hope this video helped explain to you what cross multiplying is, how to use it, and why it works. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need anything clarified. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. All the way up here, dear Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear There's a light where I float That erases all black It makes everything